Is the game physically breaking or is just fucking with me because it's taking longer to load? Um, back here, I'm seeing no noticeable changes. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, come on! I decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Screw this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> I don't know what that means anymore. Let's just follow it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Uh, how to solve a dispute with a co-worker, let it ball up inside you, take it out passive. Basically, I'm guessing that means do nothing. Um, is the game just trying to... Is this just an elaborate setup for the game to ask me to just follow its instructions without questioning it? Because questioning it ends up <laughs> with such disorganization and um, directionlessness. Is that what this is all about? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I suppose I have to go upstairs now because I've tried downstairs and I've died because of it. Uh, executive bathroom? Can I use that? Nope, I'm not. I guess I'm not an executive. I'm not qualified to use the bathroom. None of this stuff is working for me. Ooh. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. But I incredibly, can. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah, sure, Amazing. that's what happened. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Doesn't look all that elaborate. Ah, not again. Not again. Ah, well, maybe it's a different part of the basement. Go on, loading screen. Embrace me. There we go. You see, we are already <laughs> getting comfortable with predicting the unpredictability. Unpredictable. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was oh, yeah, a stirring so? of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight Whoa. ahead to the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> but it says escape here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, help me. You know what? I'm going to check this out. I'm too curious. Wicked. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Did 
This is pretty cool, though. Uh, I guess these are what cameras. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, where's us then? Is one of those uh, malfunctioning ones gonna be us? What what is our number? What is Stanley's number again? I, I kind of forgot. I think it's four. Um, none of them seem all that strange. So, I don't know, none of us, I'm just gonna see all this and uh, when, when I'm editing, maybe I can point out which one is us. But like none of them are looking any unusual, so maybe they're not correct. Because if it's actually looking at us at this moment, we will be here. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was hmm. this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And they're all and as blind. the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Really? What if I become the boss? Um, can't do any of that. What is up here? Now I'm really curious at, uh, of what is going to happen. Four? What's four gonna do? Apparently nothing. So why is this all offline? Something must have happened. Am I supposed to press all the buttons in the order? Mind control idle awaiting input? Is it really necessary to have a screen this big? Cause and when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Hmm. What if I turn it back on and resume our life? What <laughs> what is that going to do? Let's try it. Uh, I should press off, but I'm going to try on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Uh, After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Maybe. Oh, Stanley, I 
I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Excuse me? This machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Nuclear detonators are set to explode. Does this fucking thing looks like it have a DNA a identification? Then, hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Oh, that's very generous ah, of you. This is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? Uh, yep. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. It mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk Maybe about you. Maybe if I about me. Press all the Where buttons. What all this means? I barely know where to start. Where is three? What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good. I mood. see you're one, two, anyway. four, and five. I'll I don't tell see you exactly three. what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, oh, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Well, thank you but for I'm reminding me. This so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh. These are precious okay. additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. I've pressed oh, all five. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Well... I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, <laughs> okay. or maybe this big red okay. button, okay. or this door. No, you're just Everything, mocking me. Anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Uh-oh. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to peace. I'm fine with it now. You I'm really... ...to your frail life. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment well, I say... Might as well just clear. enjoy the show. It just restarted again, didn't it? it <laughs> Holy shit, this game is nuts. Well, uh, that's certainly one way to end it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, when Stanley came to a set of two open mind doors, fuck. he entered the door on his left. Let's try the right one. I think this there's still at least one scenario. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. This is wow. like somebody tastes... Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. It feels like somebody's thank, thank taking one of those elaborate to to business, task to games and open door make them left. and visualize them. Okay. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead yes, to the I'm opposite door, walking and here. got back on track. Oh, that's what it is. Fine. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might have come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm here again. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned oh, to discover cold again. not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking okay. behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin up in them. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just <laughs> let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> Fuck no. You want some music? I'll play the piano. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay, this is still the, the only way, the only way to go. If it's all the same, I'm going to try to escape this time. I have a feeling that I'm not going to actually escape just by choosing to escape. I don't think that's how the game works. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, there's also the choice of... I'm gonna try to escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh wow, thank you for telling me that now. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to How the fuck does he know I would check? Back on track. How? Whatever. This at this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh, well, why not? But well, what an elaborate escape. Whoa, I didn't die. Holy shit. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his no, I haven't. shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Uh oh. Well, I think for sure we're gonna be a lot thinner! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Where In a you? single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh. Whoa. What? This is nuts. 
What the hell is going it on? It would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Is somebody fighting the narrator now? When every path Whoa. you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This, this is my computer. I am... To say I'm mind blown is like a little bit of an understatement. Filing cabinets. This reminds me of uh, like a little bit like God's place in Bruce Almighty. So this is the office. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout the development, th though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. I wonder if these are actually production notes. The set of the two doors was the first uh, concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Yeah, but what, what about that five door bullshit? What was that? Okay, we're seeing some elements here, button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Really? Okay. I wonder if... Did, did I have these sounds when I pressed them in the previous room? So I thought maybe... I'm led to believe that maybe pressing the buttons in sequence would lead to some grand results. In fact, they are just uh, sound mixings. Of his computers. I can turn them off. This guy is uh, playing poker. That's not allowed. You gotta push your buttons, man. Uh, I. <laughs> this is the actual credits. Like, wow. Maintenance room. I really feel like I'm diving into the the coals of a game at this moment. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. <laughs> HD Remix is to lose. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. These are screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. Oh yeah, I'm, I think I'm playing the HD Remix. The point of the Stanley Parable... Uh, what the hell? This doesn't feel like it's from anything. Warzone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Was that ever true? Was that just a big elaborate joke or was that actually true at one point? Because I know there was like a previous version of this game. From Michael M. Subject to some questions. How do you like a... How do you make a JRPG? How do you make the... Whoa. I am Anthony Elias, business broker. Please partner with me in a very rewarding business venture. Details will be sent to you if you are interested. Treat as important and not spam. Greetings, omnipotent voice. I wanted to tell you I like the Stanley Parable as much as I like the scene like humorously small badger in swim trunks. Indeed, I like it as much as I like walking in the park. What the fuck? How do you type with boxing gloves on? I always seem to be doing okay. What are these? Will the game feature capybaras? I don't know what that is. 
narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found a perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. How do you, how do you stand in shape? Was that what it was? How's the game going? I hope it's good or better than the first one. From a cool man. Uh, I'm guessing these are real. Am I Stanley? Are you spying on me? I don't... Why? How? Are you gay? Will the game feature... Are these going on the loop? You know... Playing this game blind is simultaneously the best and worst decision I've ever made. Because this all came completely unexpected. What is going on? Is it going to ring after it counts to zero? Seriously? Oh, it just restarts the countdown. I'm getting lost here. Like, what the hell? Zending model? The Zending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. What the hell is the Zending? Depicts an er early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and emerged with another part of the game. Okay. Well, these levers never really appeared anywhere, I think. The player would pull the lever and the narrator would describe what color lever they had pulled. Whoa, trailers! We ran from major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms in the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> is this like fucking real? I'm sensing it is. Uh, I'm not hearing any sound because somebody turned the volume up. Since I am playing the game, is it technically pointless to be watching the trailer? Uh, I don't know. So far, it looks a little pretentious, I gotta say. Well, that's what happens when they don't have music on them. The game is now paused, begin the game again, resume the game, options return to menu, what, escape menu. For a long time we had an er ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Well, how the hell are they supposed to know that? There's a launch? I don't think the- oh, I, oh, the launch is where we go through the maintenance, so there's nothing really ahead. I can go through a vent, but it also leads to the maintenance. Uh, maintenance leads to the confusion ending, obviously. Holy balls. Is this where I came from? How do you make a JRPG? Well, I suppose you start with a village, a peaceful little village. You're a boy, uh, you're a boy or a girl of uh, indeterminable age. Maybe I'm not indeterminable, just a general teenage age, like anywhere from 14 to 19. I guess it's acceptable. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I can just turn the game off, huh? Ah, that's always an option, isn't it? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move <laughs> forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. But That's technically you true. It, don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oops. So, do I get a restart? Is it just going to stay a black screen forever now? Because I wouldn't put the game ab above that actually. I mean, it, I've seen the credit, so technically the game doesn't have anything more to offer me. Okay, this is actually happening. Uh, I still have the escape menu, so... <laughs> I guess really the only thing I can do is begin the game again or quit the menu. I can also save. No saved game, let's try to save it. Is that possible? Oh, I did save it. Let's give it a few minutes and uh, <laughs> why not? Why don't I just, you know, the game doesn't really give me a lot of time to talk because it's constantly talking to itself and I really like it about that. But uh, the, the, Downside of that is I've never had a chance to actually talk about how I feel about it. And uh, well, let's just take this time while the game to test the game a little bit to see if there really is nothing at this point. I really do have to restart manually. And uh, I'm going to just give it maybe a few minutes and uh, let's talk about it. This game is nuts. Just like I, I really didn't expect anything like this. I previously said like going into this completely blindly is like simultaneously the best and the worst choice of it and i'm i'm leaning towards the best because like the, wow this is unexpected i really didn't expect anything like this i thought it was like a walking simulator in the veins of a uh, firewatch or things like that i mean games that you where you you know not an action game but where you like interact with things uh solve puzzles talk to people and maybe have a very meaningful story. I mean, it's called the Stanley Parable, so obviously I expected the parable. But what the shit was this? How do I even how how do I even classify this one? What genre does it fall into? Uh, anyway, this this game basically is just extremely clever, and uh, it's also a little unnerving. That it can predict your every move, at least it did with me. I, I'm, I suppose everybody would have their own experience and wow. I'm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a statement bef uh, at the beginning of this, uh, at the beginning of my video. I'm going to tell people to try this game for themselves. Bef uh, I'm going to recommend people try this for themselves first before watching this video if they haven't done it already. Because it's, it'll be a really damn shame if I had I don't know played this experience that this game with somebody somebody else's playthrough for the first time because I, I really I, I know it's uh, the game is pretty much just fucking with you but it does invite you to I don't know examine yourself a little bit see your own choices or at least it makes make some satirizations of um, the mindset of a common gamer as has been honed and shaped by decades of gaming culture or the mindset of uh, just any of us 
that is being shaped by our society. You know, this is already going too far. I'm going to restart. So really, we have pretty much gone through all of the endings except maybe one. I'm going to... And the one ending... Here's the thing. I, I think the game knows that we restarted. Let's see if anything is different. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? If there's no difference, Stanley then to go there's to the really room. one thing Perhaps left he had to do. Simply missed a memo. And that is to follow through his uh, instructions came to a set of exactly. Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So far, we have always tried to be rebellious. We have always tried to, to not Yet do what they what he said. Person here Let's follow through. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. <laughs> Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. What was Kill the... surprise. What, what was the... Combination again, I already forgot. I think it's. I don't know. No, it's not five. No, I'm not trying to. Shit. I feel like it's not really listening to me. I'm having some trouble orienting with these buttons. See, I wanted to press one. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, it's already open for me. Goody. That's why it didn't tell me the the number. Or oh, it maybe it was just the ran I mean, the random for numbers would do. So yeah, the game definitely knows I restarted it, which is kind of spooky. I also don't think the save file means anything. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, let's do this. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You bet I do. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where Oh, they're monitors of their workplaces, not the individual itself, so I guess that makes sense. That that's why none of them are really out of the ordinary. And yeah, everybody's gone. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Could it be true? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hell yeah. Okay, let's... This time we are following his instructions to the T. So let's turn it off. Like, one thing we haven't done. a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. Uh, I don't he think had so. He defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. I Yet, don't know about that. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Mm. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Really? You sure that's a real place? I don't know, it doesn't look that real. After everything we've been through. Okay, here we go. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, I just achieved, uh, I got an achievement called the Beat the Game. But it's still loading, I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, cracks. So, uh, after some experimenting, I didn't manage to find any other endings, so I guess that's, maybe that's just the game. I kind of need to go through some walkthroughs to confirm that, but holy shit, that was a mind fuck. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I don't even need to explain how I'm feeling. I'm sure if that was, if you have played this game, you know, you know what you're feeling, and you you would know the confusion. This, but you're you would probably be similarly be utterly in awe of the oldest. Wow, this actually takes some time to process. But hey, the Stanley Parable, I think we either beat it completely or just experienced the most of it. I'm not exactly sure yet. Maybe if I get back in the game, it actually knows something different. And But so far, I have not been able to gauge any other ending from it. If I find out that there are more, I'm going to come back and do them. So for now, thank you for watching. This has been something really special. Um, not sure what the next playthrough is going to be. Maybe Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe something else before it comes up because this one is so short. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, like I said at the beginning, uh, any kind of support or feedback are deeply appreciated. And um, see you in the next one. Have a nice day.
Oh, you were still here? No, there really isn't anymore. The game is done. My playthrough is done. I I got a life somewhere else, so I'm gonna go do that. Well, you should probably turn off this video. There's nothing left to offer, I swear. See you in the next one.